I am tired of being single. I'm tired and ashamed of being single. Mm, mm, mm. Sister Shannon, my beautiful sister, this is a video response back to you. Yes, I'm catching up on a lot of old emails. Let me tell you something. And this video right here is going to get real deep. Because almost every week I get an email of somebody telling me how they are ashamed of being single. And how it's to the point where I do anything just so I won't be by myself. A lot of women dealing with this. And then you ask me in the a question in the email is having more than one woman really good for men? <laughs> having three women is it really all that good from a man's standpoint? I can't speak for all men. <laughs> I can only speak for myself. One woman it's all I need. One wife. Now I know you got the teaching of polygamy, polygyny, each to their own. I heard you got men, even Hebrew brothers that love to have more than one wife. But, hmm, that song you asked me about, Keep On Rolling, have I ever heard it? Yes, my sister, as a musician, I hear everything. But you're talking about this song by King George called Keep On Rolling. And I'm going to preach off of that in this video. Because it's a very popular song that so many men show love it. Who are players. And, oh, that's my jam. But if you, li if you listen at the lyrics and Keep On Rolling... Notice one thing he said in there. I'll never be alone. Mm. Now let's stop right there. Teach Holy Spirit. What did the Bible say? It is not good for man to be alone. He didn't say we couldn't be alone. But he said it's not good for us to be alone. Right? Now think about that for a moment. A lot of men will not be by themselves. A lot of men have side pieces, right? And I hope and pray you're not so miserable that you're going to go settle for a man who's married, probably got another woman, another side piece, and you make number three or number four, or number five or number six. See, that's not of the Holy Spirit. But if you notice in this song, if you want to leave, go ahead and leave. You notice he's telling the women to leave because he already got more than one woman. He even said, one monkey don't stop no show. If you want to leave, go ahead and leave. But then he says, I can't have one woman. Hmm. He said he needed three. Mm. I need at least three women. But look at what he said. He wanted three. Because he needed one to hold him down. I need a woman that's going to hold me down. Mm. He said, then he said number two. I, I, I don't know the direct order because I'm not listening. But I know he said I need a woman to hold me down. I need a woman to lift me up. And I need a woman on the side. All I need is one. Y'all hear me joke all the time. I say my wife is my wife and my side piece. That's my one and only. If I'm going to cheat with anybody, I'm going to cheat with Dee Dee. Somebody catch that later on. If I do have a side piece, it's going to be Dee Dee. 
If I'm going to lust after that woman, ooh, she sure fine. It's going to be Dee Dee. Y'all get the picture? I don't need one to hold me up, and I don't need one to hold me, uh, what what I say, hold me, one to hold me down. I don't need one on the side, and I don't need one to lift me up because my wife do all that for me. She holds me down. She lifts me up. <laughs> she is my chick on the side. Because once you understand that when you have a virtuous woman, see, let me talk from a biblical standpoint. The Bible says her husband praises her. But see, all women don't fit in the category of a Proverbs 31 woman. And all men don't fit in the category as a Boaz. Teach Holy Spirit. Who holding you down? He said, if you want to leave, go ahead and leave. He even mentioned a lady by the name of Kim. <laughs> I can get somebody just to fix me something to eat. You want to leave? I can call old girl. She'll cook for me. You don't want to, you don't want to give me the draws? Old girl will give me the draws. See, as I wrap this video up, it's blessings in being single. That's the best time to get yourself right with the Holy Spirit. Don't be so quick to rush it. But what was that, Isaiah uh, 4 and 1. If you never studied this, I got to tie this in with this lesson. Isaiah 4 and 1 teaches you seven women to one man. You got to go back and read the whole thing and before the, the, to read up to the, to understand the Most High Yahuwah's judgment on Israel. Because our, our Heavenly Father was so, was so angry, righteous angry. The Holy Spirit was grieved that all the men at that time, he said, all these men pretty much going to die in war. Go back and read it. It's going to be such a shortage of men that it's going to be seven women to one man. Mm -mm -mm. Now let's put a pen right there. Look at our day's time. Most of our men have turned into homosexuals. It's a great shortage in men. Seven women to one man. And, and you keep reading the scripture, it, it, it'll tell you, they, they, they wasn't worried about you trying to feed them and, and, and clothe them and provide for them. They just didn't want to be in the category of looking at as a single person, a single woman. I am ashamed. Now, now I told you that for a reason, sister. I hope you caught, caught this message. I am ashamed of being single. Do you want to be in that category with the seven women going to that one man? They say, we got our own bread. We got our own food. We, we good. I just don't want to be looked at as a single woman. Because back in them times, it wasn't a good thing. Women had it real hard back then. That's why... When you look at Rahab, you look at some of the women that became prostitutes. They didn't. They didn't just. They didn't get off into prostitution because they wanted to whore around and sell their body. They got into prostitution to be protected by men, some to be provided for. Now, if you got a good job, sister, and you just lonely. As I close, I'm going to ask you this. How much do you value yourself? How much do you value yourself? Do you want another woman's husband or not? Shalom.